22. I mean, he's it probably it took him five years to get an engineering job. All right, so that's because he he and I both didn't do internships, so we really got screwed in terms of that. You know, for me, it's not a big deal because I didn't want to work for those companies anyway. But if you want a corporate job, you have to do an internship and you have to be willing to take a job there after graduation. You know, you can move to another company afterwards, after a year or whatever, but just take that job that they're offering you, okay? It's going to be fifty, fifty-five thousand 55000 a year. Just take it. If you at all want a corporate job, okay? You don't have to work there forever. All right. But you do need that experience because, like, let's say my brother, he's 25, 26, 27, looking for a job. They're like, oh, well, you ha don't have any engineering job experience. So they there's two things they want. They either want somebody who worked for them in an internship already or they want somebody with experience. Okay, so, you know, you miss out if you don't do an internship then you can't get a job and then you don't have experience so you you miss the wave okay so uh you have to get a job right out of college and uh you have to take that internship all right so um get numbers take names kick ass be a connector okay this is the best advice i give you second to doing internships and set third to doing ap physics in high school the next thing is get numbers, take names, kick ass, be a connector, okay? And I'm going to I'm going to preface that with something else. Be that dude in class that asks the questions. There's going to be maybe 100 people in your class in certain classes, 20 people, 100 people, maybe 200 people. Be that dude who asks questions. If something doesn't make sense, stay on top of things. I mean, don't drift off and be like, hey, teacher, I have a question. No, no, no. Be on point. Be be thinking be understanding your teacher will see that you are thinking that you are connecting that you are understanding uh your teachers let me tell you they can tell when you are okay and they'll know that you're a good student okay and then you're going to come back with a question like hey um can you uh go over this thing again i don't i didn't quite get that um trust me they will respect you because they know you've been paying attention right and not only will they respect you all of the other students will respect you because being that dude who asked the question, then when you ask the question, then everybody's going to kind of like, oh, wake back up and like, all right, I need to understand this, you know? So trust me, if you're asking the question and you're paying attention, chances are at least 50% of the class wouldn't have understood that either. So you're going to be helping a lot of people. People are going to respect you, all right? And not only just because you're helping them that they'll respect you, they respect you because they see that you have the confidence to ask a question in class, right? And that you, you know, like I was always a dude who asked questions, right? And then what happens is when you go to this step, get numbers, take names, kick ass, be a connector, and you're like, hey, can I get your number? You know, I want to put together a study group. You know, you're talking to students in your class. They will do it because they know that you're that dude, that you kind of have a prestige. You're kind of prestigious because people look at you. You know you know what I mean? You gain this prestigiousness that you're somebody who has confidence, somebody who's interacting, blah, blah, blah. So when you ask people for, hey, can I get your number so we can study together and stuff, um they will listen and that's another thing and you know you get numbers of girls and stuff and uh whatever but look you don't really you don't want to date you don't want to date anybody in this remember what i'm saying clear out things you no know, no clubs no church things like this no girlfriends either okay so you know you, you can you can you know have fun and you know it you know interacting with girls is fun and it's um it feels good and stuff uh so yeah, study with them and stuff, and but just don't date them, okay? Just don't, um, and don't get intimately involved either. Uh, so that's just part of it, man. You just, you can't afford the time sink, the money sink of having a girlfriend. It's just not, not going to work. So yeah, <clears throat> get numbers, take names, kick ass, be a connector. Uh, start study groups, like, hey, you know, you know, talk to people, be like, hey, can I have your number for when we want to study? Or, you know, if we want to work on the homework together, hey, I'm going to do a homework thing and, you know, you know, text everybody or whatever that you got their numbers. Like, 
you know, I want to meet at the library at this time, blah, blah, blah. You know, people are going to show up. People are going to, you know, it's going to be great. You're going to work on the homework together. You're going to study for the test together. You have to do that, okay? Like, you can't do this all on your own. And even if you could, it's not fun. You know, so do stuff together. It's going to be more fun. You're going to learn more. It's going to be rewarding. You're going to make friends. So it will be good. Um, and you know what, you're going to see these people in multiple, multiple classes, you know, you're all engineers, you're going to see each other, so you might as well get friendly with people. All right, <clears throat> so next, don't copy, I mean, a lot of people will just copy their way through, so they ace all of the homeworks and they fail the test, trust me, the teachers can tell they don't like that, okay, you want the teachers to be on your side. A lot of the times, the teachers know that there's certain mistakes in the solution manuals online. And if you are copying the solution manuals, they may fail you because they know that you're copying the same exact mistakes that the solution manuals make. Okay, so don't copy, all right? But do get the solution manuals and use them to your benefit to help you, okay? There's a lot of homework, <clears throat> a lot of difficult homework, and that's one reason to do it in groups, but also get the solution manuals. Trust me, everybody uses them. You need them to help you to understand the material because you're not going to learn it on your own. You're going to learn a lot from the solution manuals. So go on line, look for the solution manuals to your book, okay? Get the old edition on Amazon. Get the old edition, all right? You know, if we're on the fifth edition, get the third edition. It's going to be like five bucks on Amazon. The fifth edition is going to be like 200 okay? Get the $5 version, all right? And now here's what you do. If they take homework problems from, you know, if the new edition has different numbers and different homework problems, go download it. Download the fifth edition online, you know, whatever, uh, Pirate Bay, where, whatever you have to do to get it, but get it, okay? Get it on PDF just so that you have that. But you're going to want the physical book so you can sit down in bed and just read it and study it and whatever, okay? But trust me, the old editions are never worse. Um, the only thing that might be different is the problem numbers, and there might be a few new problems in the new uh, book. So just get the PDF of the new one, and you'll have all your bases covered. <clears throat> all right. And finally, don't be afraid to go five. You know, if you have to take five years, you know, if you have to take summer school, it, you know, if, if you can only hack three classes at a time, hey, more power to you. Just just take as long as you need. Take three classes at a time. You know, maybe throw in a summer school class here or there to try to keep up or go five years. You know, it's not a big deal. But the key is you want to learn the material. You want to learn the material. You want to learn the material, especially if you're not going to get a corporate job. If you have a corporate job, you know, they'll probably train you to do the little job or whatever. Uh, but if you're not going to get a corporate job, if you're going to be on your own, if you're going to be like inventing new stuff, and you're going to be like starting your own car company, you're going to be like starting your own uh, skateboard company, you know, your electric scooter company, whatever you want to do, you're going to need to know all of that stuff. And and what I'm going to tell you now is that once you graduate, let's say you're doing, you want to be your own man, you want to start your own business and stuff, I strongly recommend when you get out of college, instead of, you know, looking for a job, if you want to do your own thing, just start tutoring. Start tutoring AP high school physics, okay? Because, you know, then it's like it all comes back full circle, right? You you just got your degree, you learned all this physics and stuff, and you're just in the weeds, just trying to keep up, whatever. Then when you graduate, come back and tutor. And you know, one of it, it's like paying it forwards or paying it backwards, whatever you want to say. You're paying it back. You know, people that w are going to be like you in the future, people who are going to go to college, they need to be engineers, they need help in high school physics, right? So go back and help them, you know, it's like uh, paying it back, right? And also you're going to relearn a lot of stuff and re-solidify a lot of things that you might have forgotten or been hazy on back then. So I strongly recommend that, you know, and you make money. You know, people will pay a lot of money for uh, physics tutors, okay, because they're hard to come by. So that's a great way to get started in, on your own business and your own uh, thing after college is to become a tutor. So um, I strongly recommend doing that, so... 
that's pretty much it. So just the take home message is be serious. You know, this is only a, a portion of your life. Really carve it out to do this degree. You know, if you want to take some time off before, by all means, do it. You know, get a job at Jiffy Lube or whatever out of high school. Takes time off if you want. But when you go to college, do an engineering degree because it's one of the only worthwhile degrees out there. You might as well do something that you're actually going to be challenged and learn. And then carve out that time. You know, it'd be like, okay, no girlfriend, no parties, uh, no church activities, no clubs. This this is my life. I go to school, I learn, I come home, I cook dinner, I do homework, I study, I go to bed. I mean, I, that's that's it. You know, in the summer, you're going to have some time off to just rest and relax, right? But be serious. Take it seriously. This is a professional degree. It's on par with a lawyer or a medical degree. So be serious. And let me tell you, it's harder. It's harder than those degrees too. It's one of the hardest things that you can do. I mean, I've done a lot in college and I know that it is. So thanks for watching. I am the Nature Hacker. Do work.